This is week 11 of the weekly show. Jory Karen acquires a taste of persimmons. Hopefully this week is that week. I doubt it, but what I learned last week with the hot sauce, which was a bad idea, is sometimes you need a chaser. In that case, the only, the only chaser I really had at home that for hot things was half and half. It didn't go well. Uh, persimmon plus hot sauce plus half and half cooled the burn, did not get rid of the persimmon. So I decided to switch it up. I'm going with some iced tea. I'm going with some beer. I, I, have a good, I have a good feeling about the beer. I'm going with Diet Coke, the world's most consumed beverage. You would think Coke, but diets everyone. And coffee. I think I'm gonna do just a bite and then a drink and then a bite and then a drink. We'll see. There's that taste you know and love. Let's try his tea. Not iced tea. That, if anything, made it worse. Persimmon. That made it way more palatable. Well, let's make this family friendly and go with the Diet Coke, even though, yeah. I think the beer was the sweet spot of carbonation. The Diet Coke was so not that sweet spot. And last but not least, coffee. I forgot what happens when you have warm persimmon. Uh, no bueno. No bueno in my mouth hole. Uh, I think beer is the winner there. It's the, okay, if I'm gonna rank them. Beer is the best, followed by <laughs> All of these restaurants are losers. Tea, Diet Coke, coffee. Um, I actually tricked myself into thinking beer made it better, and it was just not the worst. Jory's on a mission to acquire a taste for Parsimon's.